Para bing, para boom, baby. Para bing, para boom. Para bing, para boom. Ah! Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Legit. Legit, can we talk? I have R. Kelly's um, astro chart, astrology chart, his natal chart, his solar return chart pulled up on my laptop. And when I tell you that this year for him is gonna be intense, I mean, you don't have to be an astrologer or an intuitive to be like, something big is about to pop off, but I'm going to astrologically explain to you why and what that is and what we can expect. I've got a few pretty heavy predictions that I can see, that I can share. And, but I will say, I will say really quickly, like, I don't want this video to come across like I'm trying to, you know, laugh in the face of this person who's going through all of these things. And I also don't want to, you know, trivialize the essence and the energy of what all is going on around this. Like, it's obviously not okay. And what he is allegedly looking guilty for is not a light topic to talk about, but from, and then also what these women, and also what he has been through, it's not trivial by any means. That being said, as an astrologer, and as a perfectionist, and as someone who loves to put out predictions, and like, I love predicting things, and I have over 16 years plus of studying this, and studying astrology tarot, and working with my intuition professionally, so what I thrill on is the ability to get quick confirmation on things that I can keep track of that are just kind of put out there for me. And what I've been loving to do lately is um, celebrity charts. And uh, Wendy Williams is one person that I recently did and R. Kelly right now is another person that I wanna do because he's so under, under the gun right now and we can pretty much see what's going to happen or I can at least predict what's going to happen. And as soon as I found out yesterday that his birthday was on Tuesday, I'm like, oh shit, he just had his solar return. And basically what a solar return is, it's, it kind of maps out what the year is going to look like ahead. He just had his solar return. Sun conjunct Pluto is something that I knew was going on in that moment. I could see everything that was going on pretty much on the internet so far. I was getting, hearing all of these, you know, things of him thinking about fleeing, which is the potential of that is really, really high. So I just knew that I needed to talk about him next for my own personal, for my own personal astrological, like astrology needs and impulse, I guess. Again, I, I want to say too that when I did Wendy Williams' video, I was really supportive of her and more nurturing of her as, as far as what it was that she was going through and I gave my predictions there within her astrology reading and her chart reading. But for R. Kelly's chart, I don't have that same nurturing energy, although I do know he's been through some shit. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. When I pulled his chart and when I did research, it looks like from what the internet is showing me. His birthday is January 8th, 1967. He was born in Chicago, Illinois. The problem is we don't have his exact time of birth. R. Kelly or R. Kelly's team, if you wanna send me his time of birth, I'm more than happy to do a chart reading for you that's more accurate. But at this point in time, when it comes to this public reading, I do not have his time of birth and I'm a Virgo, I'm a perfectionist. Those of you guys who are part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you know that about me, so it's really annoying and irritating for me to work without that detail. When I wanna get things down to the nitty gritty, especially when it comes down to making these um, public predictions and when it comes to working his year ahead. And the reason why that is, is because the ascendant is very important within the solar return chart, at least something that I look for and that I just don't take you know lightly when it comes to making like large predictions like this when someone is already under the gun and under the radar that being said you know the time not the timing but the energy of certain things how they will reveal themselves how they will express themselves and how, like where in his life that they will you know pop off is it can be manipulated it can be changed I, I can't give a concrete solid this is what it is in this area of his life because his chart is skewed because I don't even have the time like I actually pulled the time that I pulled the chart which was around like 11 o'clock, 11.35, it's 12.06 now here in New Orleans. So that's what it is that I'm working with and that's just irritating, but for the most part, I can give you guys a general read and I can give him a general read. 
All right, sorry, I've got legit videos that I'm, <laughs> today I guess is like upload video day because I have one uploading now and I'm shooting one. But the first thing that sticks out to me, oh my gosh, when I look at his chart is the fact, I mean, come on now, like I just in general, when you look at a solar return, you are looking for the sun because that's the, that shows you where the energy, like your energy is being focused and highlighted in your chart for that year. Now I'm so annoyed again that I don't have his direct, his exact time of birth because I want to know what house did the sun fall in because oh my gosh. So the sun, his sun is at 17 degrees Capricorn. That's all, every solar return. But we want to look at the other planets. Pluto, the planet of death, transformation, and deep purge and release and power, manipulation, control is sitting directly on top of his sun. Now, what happens with this is that you get put under a microscope, microscope so, so hard because of your past, you know, your past um, actions. And I literally am uploading a video right now as we speak about this conjunction, about this energy and the ways if you are a good person, if you have good vibes around you, if you have good intentions, this transit will completely change your life for the better for most people, unless something is going on within your chart that makes it so that it changes your life in a way that is just like really hard to digest. However, if you are a person who has had past indiscretions, if you have secrets, if you have things that you could really get in trouble for, this is that, that moment in your life that year in your life that everything just, it, it's not that justice is served to you, but the pressure, it, they're, they're watching you, dude. They're on you, like they're really watching you. And your whole life starts to change. You will actually, like Pluto rules the shadow. Pluto rules the dark. And on a personal level, on a positive level, on a way that might be good, hit R. Kelly himself is probably, I mean, could, use this to totally transform his entire identity. He can use it to totally transform how he views himself or how he views himself can totally change. That being said, on the flip side of this, his whole life as he knows it, it's again, Pluto comes in and the metaphor that I use is so gross, but you guys know how I am with my metaphors. It's like having a pimple and having all of this muck and dirt and bacteria sitting underneath the skin and it comes to a head and something comes in and starts to push on it in order to get that muck out. So if you have secrets, if you have things that you have hidden and if you have done bad things in the past, Pluto will reveal that because Pluto rules those things, fetishes, Pluto rules like intimacy, sex power, control, how you use that power for good and how you use it for evil. And if you have, if your intention have, has been bad, this is when the truth gets revealed. And it's not even for good or for bad, it is what it is. The universe and the cosmos doesn't say, oh, you know, we're gonna, um, you know, give him the hammer because we don't like him. And it doesn't see it as this is positive or negative, it just says this is what it is. So the truth of it gets pushed down and then just like that pimple, it gets released, it gets revealed. Whatever that is, is out there for the world to see. He will feel, most people feel a sense of extreme paranoia under this transit or they feel like, like they feel the examination, they feel like, oh my gosh, you know, uh, all everything that I know, my, my sense of security, my sense of stability, who I am, um, or it's just that it's a transit that reveals the most and it puts all of the pressure on you. Pluto is one of those planets that is, you just don't, it's not a light planet. Again, it rules death, transformation, the shadow side, the dark side, the things that we try to hide. For some people, again, if you're, if you yourself are going through a solar return, it's probably different for you because <clears throat> depending on, you know, what's going on in your life and how you've been handling yourself up until this point, this could be a moment of complete and utter transformation for you where you do your life totally different, where you simply cannot hold back the truth of who you are. And for that, you step into the space and you decide, you know what, I'm going to make my life so different. And if that's not you actively deciding, deciding it, the universe, the cosmos will make that decision for you. So that's first and foremost. And again, I wish I had his time of birth so I could see where it is that this is coming from because maybe it could be in the eighth house. Oh my God, if it's in his eighth house, like wow. 
um, if it's in the third house, wow. If it's in the 12th house, oh my gosh, even more. That secret's just kind of being revealed, you know, left and right, like really getting like purged and released. And so that should be really interesting. The other thing that I have to say is that the part of fortune, which shows our luck, it shows opportunity, it shows chance. But you know what, what is luck? Luck is what it is that you deserve. You know what I mean? And part of fortune falls within the sign of Libra. Libra is the sign of justice and the sign of the scales. The sun is the focus of the solar return. Solar equals sun. Solar return, so we look at the sun. The sun squares the part of fortune, the part of luck. If you, if all of your actions up until this point have been for evil or for good, your luck will reveal that because it's a cycle, it's the wheel of fortune. This is what you get based upon how good you've been and then it's like roll the dice, bing bang boom, this is your justice served. And the part of fortune following the sign of Libra, it's the scales, it weighs everything out and says that this is your fate, this is your destiny. And that's what's happening here again, is like who he is is being cross-examined and then everything is being weighed out in order to deliver his luck, in order to deliver what it is that he deserves, you know, on a, on a plate of hotness, whatever that's gonna look like. <laughs> One thing that's kind of irritating me again i've said this already is the fact that i don't have his time of birth so i want to see what his ascendant is looking like and i want to see what planets how his how the planets are going to be aspecting his ascendant because let's say saturn falls on his ascendant let's say the sun and pluto fall on his ascendant for his solar return chart that could really you know bring all of this that could bring this punishment to him very quickly and he could be confined the other thing that i'm really concerned about and that i've been hearing or this energy or this rumor of him wanting to flee that's something else that i could predict within the chart that will show that this person is going to re move themselves or relocate the thing is, is that the North Node, speaking of that, like maybe he'll, I'm sorry, let me just take a few steps back. There is a chance and a rumor that he will run away overseas and that people are saying Africa, that he's gonna run to Africa and take the girls with him, which I hope that doesn't happen. But um, take the girls with him or just run in order to get away from justice being served from him and just living under the radar wherever it is that he's going and i will say that looking at his chart the north node is where it, it is that you're destined to go and uranus squares the north node and mars ruling his action and what it is that he's going to do falls in the sign of aries and for some people again this if this is a different solar return chart you could again be acting in a way that is totally out of character for you but is there for your highest and greatest good and you're going to step outside of your comfort zones you're going to live your best life you're going to start you know working out it's very active and it's very provoked so it says like i refuse to do this or i refuse to live like this i'm going to now be healthy i'm going to start this business my whole life as i as i know it is now going to change because i am going to step into this and anything else that the universe has for me I'm going to allow to come in and to shift me into my better version. So there are ways that you can use this aspect for good. But again, when you are under the gun, like how R. Kelly is, this could, again, it's like this, the, the universe almost has control over you, or not that you, it has control over you, but you're under the influence of it, which means that these outside influences are going to come in and change your life for the good or for the better, but in the eyes of the universe, and in the eyes of cosmos and astrology, there is no good or bad, it just is what it is. It's kind of serving out karma. So what I can see, and again, what irritates me is I wish I had his time of birth so I could see exactly where it is that it's coming from, but Mars ruling his action is very, very, I don't wanna say unstable, but it's very unpredictable and it's very irritated, and that makes a lot of sense because of course, you know, just being under the gun like this and under the pressure, of course it's not the most comfortable thing, but when you have, you know, transits like this, his mind is very like, um, has a lot of stress, it has a lot of burden. Mercury moving through the sign of Capricorn, it's a heavy weight that falls on your sh shoulders and Mercury rules mind, communication, the thoughts that it is that you think and how you perceive stuff. So his mind gets sobered up really quickly and that's what Saturn does. It, <clears throat> it sobers up everyone's mind. It says, I want you to take responsibility for your actions. I want you to create a plan. I want you to have structure. 
And this is what you have to do in order to get through this or to whatever your end goal is. So his mind gets sobered up, sobered up real fast when Mercury moved into the sign of Capricorn and that you know, that position was like a snapshot of his year ahead, his personal year ahead, which starts on January 8th and ends until January 8th of 2020. So the thing is, is that Mercury is moving out of a trine with Uranus. And again, Uranus is a planet of unstability, like instability, unexpected changes, impulsive. Now it's a little wide, a little wider for me to say accurately that I can, that I will see him, you know, do something erratic, but it's enough to have that influence there. I don't care that it's a trine. It's the energy of that planet. And so many of you guys look at a trine as like, oh, this is positive. So this is going to be like a good idea or good communication. You know what? It doesn't, just because it's a trine and you deem it as positive doesn't mean that it has this, you know, um, end result that makes you feel good. It just shows the energy of the chart and it depends on how you work with that energy. But the ener what the energy of the chart is suggesting is that there is a part of him that is very reactive right now. His, a lot of him, his mind is very reactive. Even though Mercury is in such a stable sign as Capricorn, it's still being aspected by um, Uranus and Mars. And those two planets are fire energy right now, and they're they're like a fire uncontrolled. And this means that how he's thinking is erratic. It, it's like these fast thinking thoughts. He has these ideas that come through, and he will act upon them in ways that he should probably consult someone. This is not a transit that you just make these impulsive decisions all on your own and expect them to make sense or expect them to be for your highest and greatest good. If anything, it's because you're reacting out of fear or you're irritated or you're scared or you are just like, this is a good mood, I'm just gonna be out. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna do this. And the thing is, is that I'm really concerned for those in his environment because um, the moon positively aspecting like sextile Jupiter and what else was I looking at within the chart? Oh, um, Venus and Mars meeting up in a really beautiful trine. The aspect is there to, I don't want to say manipulate, but it's like, it's like, I want to work with you. I want to, you know, be nice to other people. And I don't want to say that again, it can manipulate, manipulate someone, but it's just like these like pleasant energies, which is like, I want to connect with you. Like I want to be friends. It's very pleasant. It's very nice. And I don't see this as intentionally manipulating, but I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is like friends around him or people around him that are, you know, friends or lovers or whatever, but they're just, he's just trying to be nice to pull people into his circle and to have his family. And that makes sense. If you're going through transits like this, why wouldn't you want to have friends and family around you being supportive of you? So there's this like sweet side to him, but the other side, on, on the flip side, it, he's being emotionally reactive. He's being triggered. And when you have Mercury square um, Mars, which I'm seeing within his solar return, Mars wants to act, Mars wants to do, and it will take the risk. It will jump out, it, like it will jump out of a plane, it will fly across the world, it will do whatever it has to do in order to either get a thrill or because it's impulsive, it's reacting, it's, you know, it's um, like a flight risk. So those are some things that you can really see that I can really see within the chart. Like these rumors that I'm hearing about him wanting to relocate. The North Node falls within the sign of Cancer, which is a sign of home and security and stability. So if he's feeling threatened, if his security and his sense of safety is being threatened, you better believe that Uranus um, squaring the North Node, that unpredictable energy will make him want to leave and relocate and move his home or move his family or switch up his entire family life in some way, shape, or form. The world as he knows, the world as he know, the world as he knows it, because he's trying to create more, um, you know, a safety net for him, whatever that looks like. But the thing is, is that. Does it logically make sense? Is it a good move for him? Probably not, again, because Mercury squaring off with Mars creates this immature energy, even though the mind is being sober, sobered up. It's just very reactive, it's very irritable, it's agitated, and it will jump at anything. It will just be like, this is what I'm doing, I'm leaving overnight, spontaneous, bing, bang, boom, I'm out. So, and then at, by me looking at this chart right now, let's say he was born around 1135. 
the North Node just happens to fall in the ninth house, the ninth house of other worlds, other cultures. So I, I mean, he could. I mean, it's just, it's just a coincidence. Again, you know, I need exact time in order for the chart to be positioned perfectly, but I don't have his exact time of birth. I just have his birthday, his birth date, and um, the, his birth location. So those are some things that I wanted to look out. The other thing is that. Um, his moon falls in the sign of Aquarius and it's just I don't want to say it's it's just so interesting to look at this because as much as he's wanting to connect with people there's still like this emotional distance there's this emotional space so I'm not really sure what you know how this and the other thing too is we probably won't see this because this is how it is that he's feeling and what it is that he's undergoing but either way like it's it's still here where there is you know you know, he needs space for himself right now, but at the same time, that space and that independence and that need to do things for yourself, it's just, I don't, he doesn't have the luxury of that right now. If anything, his decision making, his decision making needs to be checked by a professional, meaning like ask for, if he has to have a conversation or an interview and he wants to protect himself and not that I'm encouraging this, because I feel like justice should be served. If he is guilty, then he is guilty and justice should be served. If he is innocent, then he is innocent, but it's not looking good as far as him being innocent. But if, if he really like, as far as him speaking out for himself, all by himself, when it comes from a legal standpoint and looking at the chart, it's just, it, but it's just not a good look. But as far as the rest of the world watching, it's probably, the, it will be, I don't wanna say entertaining to watch, but we'll all be watching and it'll be like, wow. You know, what comes out is really, will really be interesting um, and a shocker. And the other thing too is, again, Mars rules our action and how we react and what it is that we do because Mars rules exactly that, it's what we do and our anger. And I just am concerned again, like I was saying before, I think I got a little distracted, but I'm just concerned for the, the well-being of people around him. I think that he is going to be very hyper-focused on himself, which makes a lot of sense. But I think that in some ways, he's going to want to win people over to his side um, in, a, in a sympathetic way. But at the same time, getting too close to him is also very dangerous because it's like a, a animal that's backed into a cage. You just don't know what it is that they're going to do. They're going to react. They could hurt you. There's a very high risk of words being said or things being done that could be um, potentially violent and um, or reactive in some way. I see it more from words, but I wouldn't hold it against him if it was some type, or not hold it against him, but I wouldn't you know, be surprised if I heard that there was some act of violence. But at the same time, it's like, and he's just emotionally thinking about himself. He's emotionally thinking about his persona, the world, and you know, that type of stuff versus, you know, one-on-one um, -on -one intimate relationships. And again, it makes sense because of what he's going through right now. So I feel like I pretty much covered everything. I, I, again, I didn't want this video to be too long and I can't get even more detailed as I would like to because I don't have his exact time of birth. Oops, sorry about that. But um, let me got, let me know if you guys are going to be watching this, if you're going to keeping, be keeping up with it, because I sure as hell am. Just from an astrological perspective, you know, it, it, and as far as predictions go, do I think that he's going to be served justice, you know, in 2019? I see, I, I would want to pull the chart for 2020. Um, I can't say conclusively because, you know, I would need to look and see, you know, where Saturn or Pluto if it was on the ascendant, but the potential is very high, but I cannot say if I had to give a percentage of him like going to jail to jail this year, again, it's fucked, it's messed up because of um, the time, but I think that if anything, it's just going to be a cross examination of him of this year most of this year and him being very uncomfortable and us listening and these news this information why because he is being cross-examined when i when i look at his chart with pluto you know him being put under the microscope with that but i don't see his son being constricted or confined unless it falls within the 12th house but again i can't see that because i don't have his time of birth and the other thing is is the news the information the things that are said things that are revealed those are things that are going to be major components um, for 2019 that we can expect. And we have to keep his eyes on the fact that can he run? Can he do something impulsive? Will he say something like, oh my God, or release something that'll just be like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Or, oh my God, I can't believe he did that. 
the chance of that is very high because the energy of Mercury is very high within the chart, like meaning like my focus goes to it within the chart and the information that comes out is like shocking revelation after shocking revelation after shocking revelation. And you know, in his personal life, we can't predict those aspects because nine times out of 10, he's probably gonna hide it. But I can just see again, instability when it comes to his personal life, his private life, which makes a lot of sense, but just those, if for anybody who's watching this video that's within his circle or within his corner, I just wouldn't, I would hold him, he's gonna hold you at an arm distance, meaning like emotionally, like within, but at the same time, he's going to be friendly and nice to you, but on the inside, it's not, he's thinking about himself, and I just wonder, and I worry for people's safety that are around him, because you're under the influence of, again, a caged animal. So, I mean, I send everyone my love and my light. I hope that justice is served. I don't wish anybody good or bad. It just is what it is. I, I stand with the universe and the cosmos by saying that I don't see, thing as, see things as all good or all bad besides his actions. Alleged actions are definitely not something that I would support and that if he did do those awful things, um, number one, I think he needs treatment, and number two, I feel like he should be held accountable for his actions, and everybody that has ever come in could under, like in his presence and has been affected by him should be given some type of therapy so that they can live normal, healthy, happy lives as much as possible. So that's what it is I see. Um, if you, again, I want to hear you guys' apparent, uh, you know, perspective on this what do you think is going to happen what are your vibes telling you are you going to be following this story because i sure as hell am what are you feeling and seeing within the chart if you are yourself also an astrologer and if you want to book a reading with me of course you can find those details on my website for those of you guys that want to learn about me you can again find those details on my on my website at bahadilife.com and make sure that you're subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from i will talk to you and see you soon bye